How to measure squareness with a square. Measure, not check. In this video, I'm actually going to demonstrate simple technique on how to measure squareness with a square. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, most people, when they see a square, they're going to check to see if their part is square, either through the back surface or through the front here, okay? That's how most of this is done. Now that's checking squareness. Well, the video stated measuring squareness. How do I measure squareness with a square? Because there's no dials, no buttons, no actual direct measuring instrument here. So how do I make this so that I can actually get a measurement from a square? Well, what we're going to use is we're going to use two sets of feeler gauges. Okay, so what we have here is this is my square, and then we're going to say I want to measure how square this block is. So I pull out my 10 thou feeler gauge. It can be any size, but 10 is a nice even number. I push my square up against my workpiece. I take out my second set of feeler gauges, and I pull out, let's say, uh, <clears throat> say a seven while pushing up against here not a problem there's lots of gap in there so then I turn around and I go to my oh, these are not cooperating today see my nine yep no problem so now let's go to 10, because the bottom's 10, the top's 10. Yeah, we got a good amount of resistance there. So I'm going to say that's a 10, but just to be sure, I'm going to try sticking an 11 in there. Will an 11 go? There's my 11. It won't fit. So... I just measured the squareness of this block by using two feeler gauge sets and a known square. Tools that I used to measure this was a surface plate, two feeler gauges, a good quality square, and a part. Okay, so I'm going to check this angle block. Now obviously the angle block is square, so what I did is I just offset it a small amount with some masking tape. This idea comes in from Lindsay Butler Jr. from one of our Facebook groups. Thank you very much for contributing. Okay, so what he says is you push the square up against. Now watch what happens to the back. You see how that moves? Okay. Since I only have two hands and I need to operate the camera, I'm going to put a small clamp on here. Now I need a measuring tape or a ruler. That's about two and a half inches. And I need to mark out on the actual back stem two and a half inches as well. zero at your indicator so this tells me that we're out 10 thou over two and a half inches thanks again Lindsay for your contribution another way of measuring the distance some people say is you can measure the gap distance with the color of light well, we'll go through this and you be the judge. Okay. Some people will say that they can measure the gap distance by checking out the color of the light that shines through. I don't believe that that's true. But what I do believe is you can see 
an approximation of how much you're out depending on how much light actually goes through. So a small amount of light, you'd be a small amount out. A large amount of light, you'd be a large amount out. Now this color shining through type thing, let's go take a look at the chart. Now it is possible to measure thickness using the color of light, but let's take a look at the scale that this comes through. So the spectrum of red would be coming out at 700 nanometers all the way to blue, which would be 400 nanometers. One nanometer equals point, or sorry, 39 inches to the eighth power. It's incredibly, incredibly small. You can't even see that amount, let alone to guess to say, oh, this shade of light's coming through. So I'm going to say that doesn't work. I'm glad that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. If you have not done so, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching my video and have a great night.